explain how to use the Net Explorer widget um, as it appears in the orange canvas under the unsupervised tab. You should already know how to use the Net File widget and the how to upload the uh, files. Here I have I have uploaded the uh, leukemia by gene sets data file and its associated uh, metadata. This file uh, describes leukemia genes that are connected by biological function. So I drag the Net Explorer widget, uh, connect it, right click and open, and I can optimize the layout in whatever way, um, whatever way I choose, whatever's best for viewing the kind of network, the kind of connections that I have. Here it would be beneficial to see what genes are kind of connected in whatever respect. So I might want to want to view it um, this way. I can change the size of the nodes though to, for optimizing our view. It doesn't do much good in this case. I can look at these based on their genes. For I can label the nodes or I can use tooltips which will show up when I hover over them. If I look here and I go, okay, well, these, this looks like a cluster of genes. Um, let's see, they're associated with the electrochemical gradient, DNA replication. These ones are associated with metabolic processes. And I go, okay, well, let's, let's look at which ones might be significant. Well, this might change your whole view of, of what, um, which items to look at. So you can select uh, which, you can select certain ones that you want to get rid of and then look at your look at your layout again this way. So that's how these tool tips, these uh, tools can be beneficial at, at the bottom. You can also um, search for various things. So say we want to look for uh, ones that are involved. Oh, I guess we don't have any like that. Let's look at um, kinase activity. Okay, kinase. So we go, okay, well these two look like they're associated with kinase activity. We can hover over them and check, yep, protein A, kinase, kinase activity, kinase activity. So this allows us to kind of explore uh, what, the, what the clusters and the connections represent. These connections are a little thicker, so the weights are greater connecting the, the nodes. I think this particular data set uses the Jacquard index uh, as it's described in, its, in the data files. Um, you can look at them nodes with various connections, uh, whatever helps you view, view the particular data and explore it. You can save the image. You can also, once you have your view, however you would like it, you can report it and print this out and get a uh, kind of a summary of what you're looking at. Now, I said that the meta metadata is important, but I'm going to explain why, because when you use a file, when you upload a .NET file that's not part of the um, files that are uploaded with orange. For example, here I uploaded a, a file that uses the um, pejek.net format, but it doesn't have any metadata associated with it. So that's something that I'm going to have to create, and I explain the file format that's needed to create that in the um, net file uh, tutorial. But here, you know, you can you can still optimize your layout in whatever whatever way you want, but you have no data associated with any of these nodes, so it doesn't do much for you extracting information other than, you know, viewing that you might have clusters in various areas. The last uh, data set that we'll look at is one that's the Dicti publica uh, pub publication data. Is that right? Yes, Dicti publication, and. I'll show you this because this is with no optimization. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of a lot of nodes, but optimizing them in various ways allows you to view view them more effectively, especially when you select various portions of what you want to view, and you can view uh, clusters. So. That's how you can explore what you're looking at more effectively with Orange's Net Explorer widget.